Oh, I didn't see you there. Hello, it's me, the Dame, and welcome to Storytime. Now, I will be doing storytelling for Camden Pride 2020 throughout the month of June, so I do hope you join me twice a week. Now, I have a host of stories for the Pride season, and I do hope that you join me for every one of them. Now, I wonder what the story is today. Shall we have a look? Hello, darlings. It's me, the Dame. Could you tell? How are we? Good. Now, I'm very excited. Today's story, I thought I'd wear a little bit glamorous. Do you like my little dicky bow, darlings? Today's story is a lovely, lovely love story. It's called Antango Makes Three. Are you ready? Are you sitting comfortably? Very good. Then I shall begin. In the middle of New York, there is a great big park called Central Park. Children love to play there. It has a toy boat pond where they can sail their boats. It has a carousel to ride in the summer and an ice rink to skate on in the winter. Ooh, I love New York. It's a beautiful city. Best of all, it has its own zoo. Now, every day, families of all kinds go to visit the animals that live there. Have you been to the zoo? What's your favourite animal at the zoo? I like giraffes. Remember Jilly the giraffe? Hello, Jilly. Say hello. But children and parents aren't the only families at the zoo. The animals make families of their own. There are red panda families with mothers and fathers and furry red panda cubs. There are monkey dads and monkey mums raising noisy monkey babies. And there are, of course, giraffe mummies and daddies raising little baby giraffes. And in the penguin house, there are penguin families. Every year at the very same time, the girl penguins start noticing the boys' penguins and the boy penguins start noticing the girls. When the right girl and the right boy find each other, they become a couple. Now, two penguins in the penguin house were a little bit different. One was named Roy and the other was named Silo. Roy and Silo were both boys, but they did everything together. They bowed to each other and walked to each other. They sang to each other. Wah! I think that's what a penguin noise makes. Everyone. Wah! And they swam. Everyone swim. Ooh, ooh. Wherever Roy went, Silo went too. They didn't spend much time with the girl penguins. And the girl penguins didn't spend much time with them. Instead, Roy and Silo wound their necks around each other. Their keeper, Mr. Grainsay, noticed the two penguins and thought to himself, they must be in love. Oh. Roy and Silo watched how the other penguins made a home. So they built a nest of stones for themselves. And every night Roy and Silo slept there together, just like the other penguin couples. And every morning, Roy and Silo woke up together. But one day, Roy and Silo saw that the other couples could do something they could not. The mummy penguin would lay an egg. She and the daddy penguin would take turns keeping the egg warm until finally it would hatch. And then there would be a baby penguin. Ah. Oh. Roy and Silo had no egg to sit on and keep warm. They had no baby chick to feed and cuddle and love. Their nest was nice, but it was also a little empty. One day, Rao Roy found something that looked like what the other penguins were hatching, and he brought it to their nest. It was only a rock, but Silo carefully sat on it and sat and sat and sat. When Silo got sleepy, sleepy he slept, and when Silo had finished sleeping and sitting, he swam and Roy sat. Day after day after day after day, Silo and Roy sat on the rock. But sadly, nothing happened. Then, 
Mr. Grahamsay had an idea. He found an egg that needed to be cared for and he brought it, brought it to Roy and Silo's nest. Roy and Silo knew just what to do. They moved the egg to the centre of their nest and every day they turned it. So each side stayed warm. Some days Roy sat while Silo went for food. Other days it was Silo's turn to take care of the egg. They sat in the morning and they sat at night. They sat through lunchtime and swimming time and supper time. They sat at the beginning of the month and they sat at the end of the month. And they sat all the days in between. Until one day they heard a sound coming from inside the egg. Beep, 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 it said. Come on, everyone join in. Beep, 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 beep. Roy and Silo called back. Squawk! 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 Everyone do a big squawk. Squawk! Squawk! Beep, 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 answered the egg. Suddenly, a tiny hole appeared in the eggshell and then... Crack! Out came their own baby. Oh, she had fuzzy white feathers and a funny black beak. Now Roy and Silo were fathers. We'll call her Tango, Mr. Grahamsay decided, because it takes two to make a tango. Roy and Silo taught Tango how to sing for them when she was hungry. They fed her food from their beaks. They snuggled her in their nest at night. Tango was the very first penguin in the zoo to have two daddies. Not one daddy, but two daddies. Soon Tango grew strong enough to leave the nest. Roy and Silo took her for a swim, just like all the other penguin families. And all the children who came to the zoo could see Tango and her two fathers playing in the penguin house with the other penguins. Hooray, Roy! Hooray, Silo! Welcome, Tango, they cheered. And they all lived happily ever after. What a lovely story. That was in Tango Makes Three. Did you enjoy that? I did. Now, I thought we'd do a song about penguins. And this has some actions. So we all have to do the actions. And it goes like this. Have you ever had a penguin round for tea? Take a look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguins, pay attention. Penguins, begin. Left hand. Have you ever had a penguin round for tea? Take a look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguins, attention. Penguins, begin. Right arm, left arm. Have you ever had a penguin round for tea? Take a look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguins, attention. Penguins, begin. Nod your head. Have you ever had a penguin round for tea? Take a look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguins, attention. Penguins, begin. Right arm, left arm, nod your head, tongue out. La 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 Penguins, attention. Penguins, salute. Oh, that was super fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, until next time, I will see you very soon. Stay safe. Take care. Lots of love. Love from me, the Dame.